Hi everyone, this is Lab 1.3. We will be using the property of density to find out the percentage breakdown of a mixture. So what I have here on the front desk is deionized water and isopropyl alcohol. I am going to make a mixture of these two solutions by just pouring them into this large beaker. So as you can see here, I'm not measuring anything. There's some water. And... There's some isopropyl alcohol. So we are going to use density to help us determine um, what percent of this mixture is water and what percent of this mixture is isopropyl alcohol. So I'll stir it up here. All right. Now, before we get started, uh, a couple of things to take note of. Uh, the density of our deionized water is one gram per milliliter. And the density of our isopropyl alcohol, or isopropanol, is 0.7854 uh, grams per milliliter. So what I have here, we're going to run two trials. An empty graduated cylinder, as well as our mixture. So, what are we going to do? Well, let's first take the mass of the empty graduated cylinder. Twenty-five point two seven two one. Now at this point, we are going to uh, run our first trial. You can see the data table is set up for two different trials here. In the mass section, I'm going to have graduated cylinder plus the mixture for trial one, as well, uh, well as graduated cylinder plus the mixture in trial two. For my volumes, you can just see I need the volume for trials one and two. Now, I don't have any specific volumes um, to test, so I'm just going to pour some of this mixture in here, and we will record the overall volume. Let's get down to eye level and measure at the meniscus. And this is approximately 22.8 milliliters. At this point, I'm going to take the uh, mass again. So at this point, we are done with trial one. We have enough information to find the density of our mixture. We are going to run a second trial with a different volume. So I'm using the same graduated cylinder. I do not need to mass the empty graduated cylinder again uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's the same graduated cylinder, so the empty mass would be the same. Number two, we're now not starting with this graduated cylinder completely dry. Despite the fact that I'm shaking it into the sink, there's still some remnants of our liquid inside of the graduated cylinder, so the initial mass um, would not be the same as when we measured it empty um, before we started here. So what I'm going to do, once again, is I'm going to take this mixture, um, I'm going to pour to a different volume this time. Let's go a little bit more than 20. Okay. Second trial, getting down to eye level here, um, I'm seeing at about 40.6 milliliters, 40.6. Now let's take our second mass. At this point, ladies and gentlemen, we have enough information to solve for the density of our mixture in both trials one and trial two, as well as to find the percent breakdown of the mixture. So ultimately, you're going to want to figure out what percentage of this mixture is water and what percentage of this mixture is isopropyl. Good luck.